Welcome to Late Late Night Gaming. My name is Rachel, and today we will be continuing Pokemon Shield. In our last episode, we defeated Raihan, the Tamer of Dragons. And in today's episode, we are going to finally start our adventure in Winden. This is like the last leg, so I think it's down here. All right, here we go. I really do love the look of that stadium. That's cool. <gasps> the ball guy. Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, but then that means you've guessed it. I've got a Pokeball for you. Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have your Pokemon use Hypnosis or Yawn to put the opponent to sleep and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? This is the reception desk. Thank you, Hop. I know. Turns out I was the first to register for the Champion Cup. In other words, I've already, I'm have already i already number one. It's pretty much in the bag that I'll win this thing. Oh, shut up. First is the worst, second is the best. Ha <laughs> ha! That means you're gonna lose. Rachel, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like BD couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? I guess it is what it is. Come on, Rachel. We should head to the locker room. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Who do we battle first? Hold on. I always forget to look this stuff up. I'm gonna pull up my weakness chart. Just a staple for this series that I always forget to pull up my stiff. <laughs> oh, so we go up against Marnie first. Ooh, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us. What with my big brother, Team Yell, helping. Spike Moth and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become a champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Vice versa. I mean, it's really toward you, because I'm going to kick your ass. And I'm 29, I'm not like 12. I can say that word. Dude, I am so congested right now. I've got to win this if I'm going to be champion. I don't know what she said. Hold on, I forgot. Here! Here! Go! <coughs> what does Feature Sight do? Two turns after this move is used, a hunk of psychic energy attacks the target. Wow. I'll get rid of hypnosis. I don't really use it. Oh, I'm gonna use... <laughs> I'm gonna use Sahara.
Haha, <laughs> little rat got killed in the earthquake. Flying press is like four times effective against Scrafty, which is awesome. Since it's both a fighting and flying type move. Woo! Yeah, my Nintendo Switch was already getting hot. Is he a dark type? Or is he poison fighting? Oh yeah. I love how the crowd chants with her uh, theme. Oh, I don't know. We'll try it. I've got everyone's cheers back in me. I'm really, really gonna win this, Tom. It, aren't I? I don't know what she said as I'm improving. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's to win. I really hate how it's only like 95 hit points. That sucks. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, well, I'm just going to use Charlotte to kind of use up the... The three turns that Grimmsnarl's Gigantamax.
I worked real hard training my favorite move just so I could use it in battle against you. Snooze? What? It always kind of sucks when you can't, like, finish a battle while Dynamax. That is okay. There we go. Tough look, sister. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Everyone in the stadium was watching us doing all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. She's going to cheer for me. She's going to cheer for me. Rachel. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire! Did you see what my throat did? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handedly, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you to... We'd like you back on the pitch. Alright, well, I gotta heal up my Pokemons. Oh, they're healed! Okay. He starts out with double all the time. So I'm gonna keep Brooks out. Oh, sweet! I thought I had to, like, heal them between the battles. Nice! That Corviknight, though, is going to be a pain in the ass. I just have this sort of flashback, you know. Remember back when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. What are you saying? I'm not, I wasn't good enough? But it's time I finish what, we, what was started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really, really fired up for this match in the stadium. be aiming for a super effective hit. Then why did you start with double? Where are you? My cat's in here somewhere, I guess.
I don't think I like his stadium battle song as much as I do Marnie's. Hers is really cool. Ooh, too bad. Snorlax is also normal. We'll go back to... We'll try it. One Kato, all his Pokemon so far. <laughs> oh, here's <laughs> e. I'm just gonna keep Brooks out. I'm scared he's gonna she's gonna miss. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. Okay. Boom! You I didn't struggle with you as much this time. How to yeah. Of course we have to use Kala for this. Think you got me backed into a corner? No way! This will just make my victory even better. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for Dynamax. Too bad he didn't use Gigantamax. I think Inteleon's Gigantamax form is pretty cool. When he's in the sniper's nest. I like that. What? That's a bullshit. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter at all. I still won at the end of the day. Hell yeah. Ooh. Rachel, thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Hmm. I feel kind of bad for him. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers and gym challenges, Challenger Rachel. 
You know, even when Sonia was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. And, but you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Rachel, and Halucha, and all the rest of your team. Oh! <laughs> He's so funny. Rachel, that was incredible, brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another, that burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed, for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Rachel. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. <laughs> that's right, Rachel. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. God, I miss having a Corviknight on my team. I love Corviknight so much. Challenger Rachel. Hey, Challenger Rachel. Got some time for questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals, in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Uh... It doesn't quite feel real yet. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? <laughs> that he was just a rival I knew he was. Shitty. <laughs> Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals, too? I absolutely do. Alright, that's enough. Rachel's already tired from battle. And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brothers, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Yeah, famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does the he always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep to his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that nosy noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, pack it in, Pierce. I'm seriously worried here, so I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him headed to Rose Tower. Rose Tower? <laughs> don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. Well, why Rose Tower? What would he even... What would he have to do there at this hour? Pierce, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Rachel nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me, after all. 
So I think I'll invite Team Yellow along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant. You're the best, Pierce. Let's go make a real ruckus. I like how his arms swing back and forth when he walks. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Rachel. We decided that Team Yell will cheat you on, Rachel. Let's help out together. I forgot I gave him a British accent before. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss... Miss Oleana? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I've hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? This isn't good, but I've got this one. Rachel, Team Yell's Yellen will handle this. <laughs> no, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yes. All right, let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. Let's find Oleana's leak staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Yeah, there's that guy. Hi, Rachel. This bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. We already have the key, you know. What? Blast! I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Eric. Boom, baby. My cheese will get you going. I can press will up four times damage, won't it? What? Is Durant not part bug? Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Give me the key, boy. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. 
But I wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. I think he's in the photo booth. Or phone booth. I thought maybe. Ooh! Is he still around here? How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. Do you have the same Pokemon? Ha! Feel that flow, yeah? You feeling it, Rachel? Let's go! <coughs> that was the easiest time I've ever had with Maul while. <laughs> I really struggled against that Pokemon during Opal's fight. Excadrill. Isn't that ground type? Where's the part steel? I don't know. Metal Claw. And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Yeah, I was about to say, like... I'm gonna be battling the same Pokemon over and over and over again. They say I hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in a crowd. That I think he's in the phone booth this time. Yeah, there he is. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. I'm sorry, that little guy is so funny looking. <laughs> He's so funny. I think he could have been on our team. He's got a lot of green on him. More green than Halucha. I don't know why they categorize Halucha as a green Pokemon. What did it say? Oh. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. You're the best, Marnie. I love Steelix, one of my favorite Pokemon. Love Steelix so much. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Seems like you've got me cornered. But I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that League staff member at the station together.
But that guy was running. We're just like walking. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad lake mem staff member, Rachel. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Where'd you pull that from, buddy? Your ass? Maybe I can't cheer someone on with just the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Pierce! Go, Pierce! Hey, isn't that Pierce? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. We got the key, Pierce. You can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Rachel, hop, now's your chance. Go, get out of here. Wait, does Marty come with us? I don't remember. Oh good, she's coming with us. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Oh, Tame Yo is gonna have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Rachel, what should we do? Let's go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Rachel, you clear the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems that exec, exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside, wondering what he's plotting. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Muth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around and make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Rachel. I want Marnie to go with us. I feel like her team's better than Hops. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Rachel. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Are we...
This doesn't feel like epic music. No! Oh, shit. Uh I like how um the Durant's antenna are the dowering rods, is that what they're called? The rods that look for water. At least that's what they look like to me. Nah. Having to give up my pocket money, losing... Is this a glitch? Is that the music we're supposed to be hearing? My, my bonus. I dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Rachel, let's crack on. This is taking ages. I don't think this music is supposed to be playing. Well, I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Geller League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Oh shoot, I forgot to... Fuck. Well, this isn't starting out great. Damn it. Hopefully, I'm able to knock out Bronzong. I don't think this music is supposed to be playing. 
If it is, it's kind of lame. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is wrong. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them up. Hold on, I want to... God, I wish I was able to switch out my Pokemon. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? <laughs> yes, I do actually. Thank you for asking. Dude, I wish you would use something other than freaking double. He has so many other Pokemon on his team. Like, f bring out freaking Snorlax or Corviknight or something. Like, anything. I do like that little animation it just did. Ow. Ow. Um, yeah. Might as well. Booyah! Endeavor. Oh. I don't really use Steel Wing. I'm kind of curious about that. Nobody can be MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building's well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as about 100 Machoke Machoke standing on top of each other. How did you figure that out? Oh, I guess you can just... Okay, math. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. This music's kind of annoying. You're nearly to the top, but you're not- But you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies during, doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Adeline?
Boom, baby. Oh, Dare Steelix again. I hate that they don't use accurate sizes in this game. I hate it so much. And I don't understand why they don't use them. A critical hit. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? I do sometimes. It's quite the experience. <laughs> Don't you presume to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but all of Galler. <laughs> Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Oh, thank God. I guess I was supposed to keep going. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be the first, Rachel. If I beat you to pieces, then the Champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the Chairman says. Okay. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, because it's part... Oh, shit. Oh, but normal attacks don't work either. Fuck. My, how cheeky. You do such a thing as to hurt... I don't know what she said. Is water... Okay. Haha. Serena, I'm gonna bring out Half Day. We're finally using him again.
Oh. No, it doesn't really do anything. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I bet Milotic has an ice move. I just have a feeling it will. Thing I really like uproar. <clears throat> Poison fire. Shit. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously, Oleana's gonna f gotta finish this. Whatever. If only Salazzle hadn't used freaking Dragon Pulse, I would have been fine. That was such a cheap shot. Oh, Flygon is so cute. Flygon's one of my favorites. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. I actually don't know how to Gigantamax Pokemon. Oh, I love how they have the little substitute guy. Is that still a move? That Pokemon can learn? Because I haven't seen that move in a long time. Oh, thank God. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't hurt me though. Ha ha ha! Here's a move I was good with even before I changed my image. Ha 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 ha! Still didn't take me out. Still didn't take me out. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Boom, baby. Yeah. I wasn't able to win. 
Oliana, oh, you really are a hopeless woman. Ugh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challengers who made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical, Rachel. You and Halucha are unstoppable. <laughs> Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. <laughs> Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who was supposed to be our champion... I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness is to carry out that championship match. That's what Gather wants, and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years! Fine, look, I think I can understand your concerns, Chairman, and I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierce and Marnie and all those Team Yell oddballs, they all helped us get... Uh, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Rachel... Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. I'm sure to be it it's sure to be one for the history books. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I am going to change the course of history. The next even evening. <laughs> this is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Rachel, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Did it learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Inteleon, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other League staff... I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oliana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things that like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today, staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. <laughs> I guess we trust her then, yeah, Rachel? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Wyndham Stadium? Sure. Then let's be on our way.
I think the first person we battle is Badi. Okay. So I'm gonna switch out Bronzong. Rachel! This is it. Here at Winnin Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever made and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. Challenger Rachel, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? Then I'll show you the way. I'd say I'd aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride and to see him smile once again. Long time no see. This will be different. This will be a different sort of battle when, than you faced in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. My mask. It feels like it's going to fall off. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I've, I'll have failed to repay Duralodon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Raihan of all people? What rotten luck. But even if it changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. Okay, that is where I'm going to leave this episode off. Um, I think one more episode is in order, if not two more. I thought... I think one more. I think I'm just going to say, fuck it, let's just finish this series and one more video, and then it's done. And then I can move on to other things. But with that, thank you so much for watching. This was Late Late Night Gaming. If you like this video and you want to see more, you can click that subscribe button. And please leave a comment while you're down there as well. Um, and if you like this video, you can also go check out all my other videos. And I think there's what 11 parts before this 10 or 11 parts before this so you can check those out as well but in the meantime i will see you in the next video bye bye